good morning everyone welcome to global online university channel and here we are with back with our uh, research aptitude uh, topic that is for the prepare for preparation of UGC NT in net 2020 examination paper one and we'll be discussing the practice questions in this particular video global online university has came up with revision of units with help of mcq questions which will be telecasted daily at 8 a.m in the morning and 8 p.m in the evening and this pattern will go on till the time examination continues apart from this हमारे यहाँ कंप्लीट कोर्स है फॉर पेपर वन के लिए जिसमें 60 फुल सिलेबस टेस्ट हो, होते हैं 60 सिलेबस फुल सॉरी फुल सिलेबस नोट्स एज वेल एज वीडियो लेक्चर्स होंगे आप ये सारी फैसिलिटीज अवेल कर सकते हैं बाय डाउनलोडिंग एन एप्लीकेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी एट द सेम टाइम हमारे पास पेड व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप है जिसकी कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल्स आपको स्क्रीन पे दिखाई दे रहे हैं फीस है ट्रिपल नाइन ओनली देर इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट कि हमारे हमारे चैनल का न्यू पेड व्हाट्सएप बैच स्टार्ट होने जा रहा है सेकेंड ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन से और कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल्स स्क्रीन पे रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहे हैं so i request everyone jisse bhi interest hai those who are interested in this can ping on the given number and can seek more information or can interest if interested can join the same so let's start with the lecture for the day starting with the first topic that is to test null hypothesis kaun sa researcher uses which test is it the t test anova x square or factorial anal analysis okay to remember one thing agar aapko null hypothesis test karna hai to researcher kaun sa uh, test use hot karta hai that is called as anova okay so uh, remember this the this these certain questions in research are factual to aapka thoda is questions pe dhyan dena padega kyunki kahe se इन एनी पैटर्न यानी वो क्या कर सकते हैं कोई भी पैटर्न में इस क्वेश्चन को ट्विस्ट करके दे कैन गेट द सेम क्वेश्चन फॉर यू नाउ एनोवा का अगर फुल फॉर्म आपको याद रखना है सो प्लीज रिमेंबर और नोट इट डाउन एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरियंस ओके शायद वो भी पूछ सकते हैं सो एनालिसिस एनोवा इज नथिंग बट एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरियंस देन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू रिसर्च रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम इज फीसिबल ओनली वेन रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम फीसिबल तभी हो सकता है जब उस ये अगर यूटिलिटी है और रिलेवेंस है रिसर्चेबल है इट्स एड टू इट्स न्यू इट इज न्यू और एड समथिंग टू द नॉलेज और ऑल अबाउ सो डेफिनेटली ऑल अबाउ बट इफ यू सी ये जो सारे पॉइंट्स है ए बी सी ये एक्चुअली रिसर्च के फीचर्स है यूटिलिटी रिलेवेंस researchable or new so these are all the features of what these are features of research so the answer will be what option d all about next bibliography given in a research report represents what kya represent karte hai vast knowledge helps those who are interested in further research has no relevance with research all about so option number c and d to definitely nahi hai ओके सो यर इट टॉक्स अबाउट बिब्लोग्राफी सो बिब्लोग्राफी बेसिकली इज गिवन फॉर दोज पर्टिकुलर पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड टू गो फॉर अ फर्दर रिसर्च इधर इन द सेम टॉपिक और यू नो एनी अदर टॉपिक इफ इट इज इंटरेस्टेड सो दे कैन गो फॉर दे कैन गो फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ बिब्लोग्राफी या उसे आप रेफरेंसेज भी बोलते हो सो बिब्लोग्राफी एंड रेफरेंसेज का यूज कहाँ पे होता है इट इज यूज बाय द Uh, researchers in order to do the further research next fundamental research reflects the ability to fundamental research is also known as basic research wo kaun si ability possess karte hai synthesize expound evaluate or study so definitely uh, uh, i mean to say fundamental research is basically what to expound new, new principle okay new principles ko discover karna that is the basic aim of the fundamental research in research methodology next the study in which the investigators attempt to stress an effect सी अटेम्प्ट टू ट्रेस मैंने आपको ये प्रीवियस लेक्चर में भी ये नोट किया था पॉइंट 
cause and effect relationship it is called as what it is called as ex post facto research it's called as descriptive research also it is not survey research it's not historical and it is not summative it's called as ex post facto research next generalized conclusion on all the basis of a sorry generalized conclusion on the basis of a sim, sample of is technically known as what so jab generalization karna hota hai conclusions ko to us so, us sample us basis pe sample ko technically kya bulate hai is it is it data analysis or interpretation parameter statistical interference or other wow so the answer is what data analysis and interpretation can be done by generalized conclusion next the experimental study is based on what experimental study which is done by the researcher it is based on what is it a manipulation of variables okay conceptual parameters or replication of research or survey of literature so, uh, literature so here little bit of um, fabrication is allowed mm, and it's possible in some or other way so basically it is what manipulation of some variables or of variables okay next the main characteristics of scientific research it has to be empirical real life situation theoretical certain theories principles and experimental it means certain uh, type of uh, uh, experiment done in order to reach to the main conclusion so this all types are called as what scientific research okay uh, scientific these are the characteristics of scientific research next authentic authenticity of a research finding is based on what we can authenticate a research based on what based on the objectivity validity bhi hai originality bhi hai but sabse important kya hai with the help of identity uh, that is with the help of objectivity so the uh, right answer is what objectivity next which technique is generally followed when the population is finite finite so we have done techniques yesterday's video also and day before yesterday also there is another different question so agar aapko technique use karni hai for finite population okay jo defined hai so it will be called as what it will be called as systematic sampling technique okay so the right option is option c now there is a small announcement thank you for this particular uh, sessions question sessions now after this sorry to interrupt you in between uh, we have a small announcement to make that is uh, right now i'm going with renten questions on daily basis with research aptitude but very soon most probably on monday monday ek full fledged set of questions honge जहाँ पे मोस्ट प्रोबेबली फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन ओनली ऑन रिसर्च रिफ्लेक्टिंग द होल टॉपिक सो मंडे जस्ट बी रेडी जो जो स्टूडेंट्स ने या एस्पिरेंट्स ने लेक्चर्स मिस किए हैं उस लेक्चर्स को रिवाइज कीजिए रिवाइज दिस सब्जेक्ट आई एल बी टेकिंग अ टेस्ट ऑफ फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन जज आप अपने खुद को भी जज कर सकते हो कि एग्जैक्टली प्रिपेरेशन कहाँ पे शॉर्टफॉल हो रहा है okay so that's all for the day thank you everyone for watching this and keep learning keep progressing at the same time keep watching the channel for the new uh, updates as well as your preparation for your next examination so thank you everyone